Hi, welcome back to my channel Pi by Me Maths. This is by Juvas Devan. The region S shown shaded in figure 3 is bounded by C, L on the x axis. Part B find using calculus the exact area of S. This question got 6 marks. We are going to find the shaded region. So there are several ways you can calculate this. You can find the total area of this triangle minus this little area or you can divide this, you draw a line here. We know the x coordinate of this point is half, y coordinate is 2. So this is half and then find the x coordinate of the line, the x intercept of the line. So you will get this length. This is the y coordinate of this point 2. You can find the area of this triangle plus this little area. That's basically below the curve. So up to you how you want to find it. So area below the curve is integral y dx. That's a formula to find the area below the curve. The limit is 0 to half. 0 to half. Here y is this. So 0 to half y dx is the derivative of this. So if you differentiate it 2 sine divided by applying chain rule, you get dt. So it's 2 times 2 is 4 integral 0 to half. Replace tan by sine over cos and then you have sine t cos t dt. Cancel this you get sine square t. 4 integral 0 to half sine square t dt. This sine square t is a one of the special integral. I have explained this in a separate video. I have consolidated like about 10 special integrals. So when you have sine square t, you use this sign t cos 2t is 1 minus 2 sine square t. And rearrange make sine square t as a subject. You will get 1 minus cos 2t over 2. Apply this here and integrate. So it's going to be integral 1 minus cos 2t over 2 d 0 to half. You cancel this, you'll get 2. So you will get 2 integral of 1 is t. Integral of cos 2t is sine 2t over 2 0 to half. You see, when I reach this point, that's when I realize you shouldn't be using the x coordinates to integrate because this is parametric integration. So you need to use the corresponding t value, the value of t. The value of t corresponding to this point is it's given in part a, it's pi over 4. So instead of using 0 to pi over 2, 1 over 2, you should have used 0 to pi over 2. So I'm not going to correct my mistake. I'm going to leave this in the video so you understand how to integrate this and what limit should be applied. So it has to be pi over 4. And then, so how, how do I know my limits are wrong? Because it's half. You cannot just put a half in here, right? In the place of t. So replace t by pi over 4, you get pi over 4 minus 2 times pi over 4, sine pi by 2 is 1 minus lower limit, 0 sine 0 is 0. So multiply through all, you will get pi over 2 minus 1. So this is basically this little a. This little a. Now we are going to find the area of this little triangle. We have the height 2, we need the base, so we need the x coordinate of this point, which is basically x intercept of this line. Take the equation of the line which is given here from part A. To find the x intercept, replace y or y by 0 here. So 2x is 17, x is 17 over 2. So this point is 17 over 2. So the base is the difference between 17 over 2 and half. 17 over 2 minus half, which is 16 over 2, 8. So the area of the triangle is half base times height, which is 8. Now you need to add these two areas. So the total area is pi over 2 minus 1 plus 8, which is pi over 2 plus 7. The question wants you to write the exact value of the area. So leave it as it is. Do not change it to decimal or something. 